What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Two Pitbulls. My apologies for not being able to upload over the last six days. I've been really busy with work and just, you know, taking care of a few things. But I'm so glad I got the chance to record today. And I'm actually going to be doing a few videos today to make up for those six days because I really like to, you know, keep track of, you know, all the days I'm uploading and which ones I miss and try to make up for those by uploading, you know, a few videos that same day to make up for those lost. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be have a, dropping a few videos today. Uh, I hope you guys really like them. And today's topic actually will be um, seven fun facts that you must know about the pit bulls, uh, pit bull breed. And uh, I'm glad I, m I mentioned breed because the first fun fact is that pit bulls are actually not a breed. Um, it's a general term to describe American Pit Bull Terriers, the Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So it's just a general term to, you know, kind of generalize and distinguish between those bull breeds um, that I just mentioned right now. And it's a general misconception. So I was, I was pretty, that was pretty mind-boggling to me, you know, when I read it um, and did research online. The second fun fact is, moving on to number two. They are banned in some parts of the world. Pit bulls are banned in some parts of the world. Not just the United States, but also other countries. Um, even in Great Britain and New Zealand. So countries that you guys never imagined um, that pit bulls are, are uh, banned in are actually where they're banned. So that's probably why you do hear, you know, that's probably why you hear, you know, some people not having pit bulls in your parts of Europe and, you know, other countries out there. So... You know, that's pretty interesting. I thought you guys would like to hear that. Moving on to number three. So, number three is pit bulls do not have locking jaws. I can't express this idea so much. Like, I can't emphasize it enough. Um, they just have really strong jaws. I will admit to that. Pit bulls, in fact, have really strong jaws. <coughs> but <coughs> they don't have locking jaws. Look at him. He's looking at me coughing. He's like, what's up, man? What's going on? He's like, don't be coughing in my face, punk. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, uh, so yeah, it's pit bulls have strong jaws, but they don't lock. Like when they bite on something, they don't lock on them, you know. That's the common misconception about the breed. Um, another thing, moving on to fun fact number four. So speaking of, you know, their jaws, they don't, in fact, have the strongest bite in the world. Um, there are other breeds of dogs that have stronger bites for example let me give you guys an example because i took note of this according to the national geographic um german shepherds and rottweilers have stronger bites and some of the stronger bites out there compared to other breeds so this probably explains you know why police use german shepherds as you know canine dogs and the police task force that is probably why because you know when they're out there chasing bad guys they're gonna release you know the hounds being the german shepherds who have a strong bite and you know they're gonna really make their mark so yeah i thought that was pretty interesting when i read it you know i connected the dots i was like oh okay that's why police uh use german shepherds as the number one breed of pick that they usually train in the police force so fun fact the next fun fact is basically uh at one time pit bulls were pretty famous to be honest um the dog uh, from the Little Rascals was a pit bull. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Little Rascals. This is a very uh, old show. Um, also, a movie came out. I think about it. But uh, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her nice eyeballs. But uh, yeah, the Little Rascals. It was a little white pit bull, and uh, they usually would circle his right eye. Um, so like the right eye. Um, that was the thing about him. But he was really he was a really iconic pit bull. Um, this was back when the pit bull breed was displayed as the iconic American ideal dog. So this was back in, I can't even remember, like 70s, 60s maybe. So yeah, I thought that was a fun fact. Moving on to the next fun fact. Um, pit bull puppies are wrinkly in nature. Um, I don't know if you guys ever owned a pup, a pit bull pup. When they're very little, they have, they tend to have wrinkles. Look, for example, right here on Yogi, you see the little wrinkles. When he was little, when I first had him, he had so many wrinkles, and a lot of people thought he was cute because of that. Like, you know, if I was a dog, I would, I would, 
I would feel blessed to have wrinkles because I'd get all the ladies, man. Just playing. <laughs> but yeah, like to be honest, a lot of people like wrinkly dogs, especially as pups, because they look cute. So you see, Nala doesn't have so many wrinkles on her forehead, but uh, yeah, that's that's an interesting fact. Um, specifically around their foreheads, as they get older, their skin smooths out. So that's probably why Nala doesn't have any more wrinkles. Yogi's still probably gonna do a little bit of growing, but not so much. Um, up to the age of five, so yeah, look, he's just investigating. He he thinks I'm gonna give him some food or something. You already had your snacks, boy. Nope, you already had your snacks. Yeah, he's looking for snacks. He's he's got a I gotta cut down on his weight. So, uh, but yeah, so moving on to you know the next fun fact. Um, I have a few, a um, few left. But uh, um, pit bulls they can live a long life. Um, they can live up to twelve and can't remember what I, oh, 12 and 16 years if you know they're well taken care of so regular vet checks uh annual heartworm checks back then when i first had pit bulls when i was around the age of 12 you know pit bulls their average lifespan was from five to nine years and which was pretty low for uh to be honest for pit bulls but I feel like back then a lot of people weren't very educated on ways to take care of the pit bull breed because of the common misconceptions and just negative connotations towards the name pit bull breed. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that you know now 12 to 16 years is the average lifespan, and well, not the average lifespan, but they can live up to that amount of years if well taken care of. So yeah, and that's that's pretty much the last fact. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I try to find, you know, just unique facts, fun facts. I didn't try to make the obvious facts like, um, you know, some of my last videos. And uh, I hope you guys, if you guys learned something during this video, give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe if you're new to this channel. I try to do daily videos. Um, that's what I really shoot for, a daily video. On a, you know, so you guys can keep up with all the fun facts on the Pitbull breed. Look at him. He's like, dude, you done? You done? Come on, man. <laughs> So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If at any point you know this video made you smile or you know it was you learned something new, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I do pitbull educational videos. I do also just in general uh, dog educational videos. I'm really passionate about it. Um, and yeah, I try to do them on a daily basis. Um, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button below, comment, like, share, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.